G'day! In today's video I've got a Dell Inspiron 14 with the model number P147G and this particular one I'm opening up just to see what can be upgraded inside of it. But also while I'm there I do need to fix up a small hinge issue that it's got. I may or may not do that on camera, I'm not too sure at this point, but let's get into it and see how we go. To begin with to get in there I'm using a small triple zero screwdriver and I'll take out all these Phillips head screws that I can see and then once I'm inside, I'll disconnect the battery and we'll see what can be done. So far, these screws all... Well, so far, these screws look to be of the same size. That one doesn't want to leave yet. That one is lifting the back cover. So these ones at the nearest to the hinge are staying in. They're helping lift off the plastic. I'll use a thin pry tool here, slide that into the gap, like so. Okay, I'm going to keep turning for a little bit, there we go. Same with over here, there we go, and we are in. Now from here, to begin with, I'll have one battery down here that I want to disconnect. Zoom in, have a quick look. Just wiggling the outer sides back and forth. There we go, we're disconnected. Looking here, we have a Wi-Fi card here, but we have an SSD or NVMe SSD over here, which is of the smaller variety. It looks like this bit here Pulls out. Uh, PCI Gen 3, 4. I'm not actually seeing a brand name on this one. Nope. That one I'm not seeing a brand on. If you have a look down here, we have this weird two dints and this. If we were to put a larger one in, we should be able to move this down to here to put a 22080. NVMe SSD in, which will move the screw hole down to here. To install it, we have a single notch taken out. It corresponds up here. Put it in about 45 degrees, and then push down. That should lock it into position from there. If you do upgrade it, you'll leave it, or if you do upgrade your storage to a larger capacity, you will more than likely need to reinstall Windows afterwards. If I go over here, we're gonna have a look and see what RAM we have. We have one in dim slot two and one in dim slot one. We have eight gig, PC4, 3200 megahertz. These are pretty straightforward to take out. You pull those metal tabs away from the RAM. You should be able to flick it up. And we have it pulled out. There is a small notch down here that corresponds to the notch here. You should be able to slide that in, similar to what we did to the SSD, then push down. You should be able to replace this with pretty much two sticks of 16 if you would like bring it up to 32 or potentially higher if you like. So that's about all we can really upgrade. We can upgrade RAM, SSD and NVMe storage. Uh, the battery itself does look like it does have a larger capacity available to it, especially I see BAT3C here. So assumably the three cell battery would go all the way across. So you could potentially replace it with a larger uh, capacity battery in this model. That will do there for the upgrades. So if you've popped in, upgraded your RAM, and you're done, that should be about all you need to do. Then it'll be a matter of putting the bottom cover back on. Start at the front of the laptop and fold it down. Make sure it's clicked in at the front first, and then you should be able to do your screws up from there. That will do for that side of things. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.